Welcome to Malloy and 60. I'm Bryce Reynolds, and thank you for joining us. On this week's episode, the Lions are defending their den against the Knights from Queens College. Now, in the Lady Lions' previous matchup against the Knights, they took a 62 50 defeat at the Castle in Queens. But at this point in February, the Lady Lions are still on the verge of making the playoffs. Lions came out roaring in the first quarter, 17 5 run to start the game. But that lead quickly vanished as the Knights were on a 14-5 lead themselves, cutting the Lady Lions' lead to just four at halftime. Now once we got into the second half, it was the same old song and dance for the Lions. 11 turnovers, 2 of 12 from 3 for the entire game, and the Knights outscored the Lions in the second half 32-20 as they went on to defeat them 57-49. I got a little good news for you though. After the Lions' defeat against the Knights, they're currently on a three-game winning streak and are sitting in the fifth seat of the ECC looking to claw their way back into the playoffs. And now for the men's game. Unfortunately for the men, they've been eliminated from playoff contention but look to play spoiler for the remainder of their season. After the Knights opened up the game on a 23-5 run, it didn't look like the Lions were spoiling anything tonight. But after a 24-8 run themselves, they trailed by just 11 at halftime. Now in order for the Lions to pull off this comeback, they'd have to play with composure, confidence, and team basketball in the second half, something they did all three of as they trailed by just two with 13 seconds left to go. They put the ball in the hands of their leader, Charlie Marquardt, who drilled the go-ahead three, but gets called on a travel, a third step, right before he released, and the Lions get down to 84 to 81. Now after a heartbreaking loss to the Knights, Lions are on a two-game winning streak and look to go into their final game of the season, finishing on a high note. And now for track and field. At the Malloy Lions Invitational at St. Anthony's, freshman Brian Michaels finished in first in the mile run with a time of 4.36. Junior Nicole Natlin claimed the first place finish in the pole vault. Well, that's all the time we have left here. Be on the lookout for the next episode of News Now. But for us, I'm Bryce Reynolds, and this is Malloy in 60.